Hi and welcome to my video series of Biotechnics Explained in 5 Minutes where I explain a concept of biology in less than 5 minutes or so. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to leave your comments below because that gives me motivation. Now in this installment, we'll be talking about a genetic manipulation technique which allow us to spatio-temporally control gene expression, especially in the mammalian system. This is called tet on and tet off system. And in this whole video, we'll be talking about how we can use this system, what is the basis of the system, and how this system was discovered. So let's just talk about how this system is discovered. So as usual, this system is a system which is already present in the bacteria. And the scientist took the idea of engineering this system from the bacteria. You know that there are several bacteria which are antibacterial, which are like antibiotic resistant. Some bacteria which are tetracycline resistant have a tetracycline resistance gene. Let's say call it TET gene. And this tetracycline resistance gene is under a TET operator. So this gene ultimately give rise to a protein which is like a gene product of this TED gene. And what this protein does is just pump out the ant antibiotic outside such that it can create resistance against this antibiotic, right? But imagine this system is not always required for these tetracycline resistant bacteria. It is only required on purpose when there is tetracycline or antibiotic present in the environment. Where there is no antibiotic, it's not required. So let's just imagine that there is no antibiotic in the environment. In that situation, there is a repressor gene present in the same bacteria, which is producing a repressor protein, and that is sitting on the TET operator and repressing the TET genes or TET operon system. Because at that point of time, the bacteria don't need any resistance protein, right? And making that protein would be waste of the energy of the bacteria. It's an energy demanding process, right? In that situation, bacteria won't make it. But when there is a presence of antibiotic in the environment, bacteria would produce this anti uh, produce these uh, TED gene products that that would allow him to get uh, bacterial resistance. Now, looking at this system, scientists always thought how they can use this system. So they designed a system which they can use it to manipulate the gene expression in a spatial and a temporal manner. Spatial means where and temporal means when. In terms of gene expression, these two where and when is the most important thing. And this particular system, the Teton Teton system, gives us a hold on when. So it takes care about the temporal uh, aspect of the gene expression or the gene manipulation. So the temporal aspect is generally taken care of the Teton Tetoff system. Now let's talk about the system directly. So here is the target gene. So this target gene could be the gene of interest and whose expression we wanted to study and the consequence of expression we wanted to study in the cell or in a physiological situation. But we don't want this gene to be expressed for all the time. We want it to be expressed when we want it to be expressed. So in order to temporally control its expression, we need to we need to have a system where we have a temporal handle. So let's just talk about the system first. So you have the target gene, which is your gene of interest, under a minimal promoter, demarked here in green, which could be a CMV promoter as well. Now you have another TET responsive element, several repetition of TET responsive element, where actually RTTA can bind. Now what RTTA does is basically folding of the uh, situation and looping of the DNA in presence of tetracycline and it can interact with the RNA polymerase which is sitting in the no minimal promoter and really induce its expression from the promoter i mean gene expression from the promoter by controlling by interacting with the rna polymerase so tet on system is a system where you can switch on the gene expression when you give tetracycline whenever tetracycline is present gene expression would be there so it's a 
customize switch on system and the key player in this system is rtta so rtta binds with the tetracycline and it allows to interact allows the region to interact with the dna polymer uh, rna polymerase and thereby it can transcribe the downstream gene in it there is another system which is called tet off system here putting tetracycline would prevent the transcription from the downstream gene or downstream promoter so here what happens is the tetracycline trans activator which is a different protein it can bind to a uh, normal tetra responsive element and in presence of tetracycline or doxycycline what happens it cannot interact with the rna polymerase and thereby the gene expression is off right so this kind of system could be useful where the gene is normally expressed and you want the gene to be spatio temporally shut down you want it to shut down at the time that you want in that kind of situation tetracycline off system is important so here is a, here is a quick summary in tet on tet off system both the systems are used to spatio tempor to temporally and spatially regulate gene expression but one is to activate the gene and one is to stop the gene expression so tet off is for stopping the gene expression tet on is for activating the gene expression now we should talk about how exactly in the laboratory you can do the tet on tet off genes and how does it work so definitely if you want to do it in in vitro situation let's say in cell culture so you have a gene so you have a gene of interest which is cloned in a tet plasmid or tet on plasmid let's say so in that plasmid you would have the tetracycline uh, response element and other plasmid would be the vector coding for tetracycline trans activator now you have to electroporate those construct or transfect those construct inside the cells and you plate the cells after plating the cell whenever you want to switch on or switch off the gene based on the system you are using either tet on or tet off you have to add tetracycline or doxycycline to it by addition of tetracycline or doxycycline let's say you are using a tet on system you can switch on the gene expression and it is totally in your hand in your control when you want this gene to be expressed it is especially important for many genes which are important for development if you perturb those genes during the development the whole cell might die the organism might die might die so in order to study the role of gene in a specific time frame this kind of system could be really handy now what would happen inside the cell when it is transfected the vector that having the tre and the gene of interest would would be there and the vector coding rtta or tta would be expressing the rtta protein and which would allow the transcription to happen from the downstream target gene by interacting with the rna polymerase and that is how a tet, tet on system or tet off system can work in a cell culture based method now no, it is not only limited to a in vitro situation it is also can be used in in vivo situation for example if we talk about mouse genetics now there are tet on and tre mouse in tet on mouse there would be tissue specific promoter and thereby the spatial aspect so the tetracycline tr rtta would be specifically expressed in the tissue of my interest because it is under a tissue specific promoter and another mouse where the tetracycline response element would be there and it would have our gene of interest downstream to it now we have to cross these two mice and in the f1 progeny we would have a tissue specific spatial and temporal controlled genetic manipulation so this would give us a great handle to understand the function of gene or protein in a way better in, in a better manner so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments below thank you